Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. The Lord again has spoken with me about events of the end when finally we will be taken away from this earth. Uh, the Church of Christ. And the Lord took me to a place, an office, and then he introduced me to the Antichrist. He introduced the Antichrist to me, he showed me, and uh, I saw him going around and he presented as a leopard. And then uh, I saw the earth on the other side of the rapture. So I have lived to see the days of the earth after the church has been taken away. Again, the Lord has shown me the main players that will be involved after the church is taken away. And uh, it took me to a place where I saw the Antichrist. And then I saw the earth. I lived on the earth during that dispensation after the church had been fractured away from this earth. And I want to share the following. That there was a reign of terror on this earth. It was very fearful. And uh, even watching news was, I think, forbidden because I saw the few people. who took me even to Germany also. It took me to many countries, and I was in Germany, and I saw the reign of terror when the Antichrist takes over this earth. And uh, what amazed me is that even watching news had to be done illegally. I mean, the people had to steal it secretly, otherwise you are killed. And uh, I, could, I saw some people, they were saying they are going to watch news secretly. And uh, then there were some buildings, and then the Lord showed me, look at that building, he has already marked. So the Antichrist came and marked, he put his mark. So that building had been marked, there's a specific sign of the mark that the Lord has revealed to me, which I cannot reveal to anybody else, that he lay, he put on the building, and he put his mark in several buildings, so the people in those buildings were meant to either vacate or to submit to him. So there was a tremendous reign of terror and fear. And the people had run away from some places also because the way I was walking it was totally deserted. And it took me to different countries, including Germany, during the time. I have seen the events on the other side of the rapture. I have lived on the other side. The Lord made me leave on this earth after the rapture, after the church has been taken away this past night. And he has also shown me the one who is coming, the Antichrist, who is going to torment this world. And uh, so, again, I saw he puts his mark on buildings, and then people were fleeing, some were killed. So it's a tremendous, it's a shocking time. It's a dreadful time to see. We were living in fear that he sent me with a lot of power to encounter him. And I cannot share the events that took place after that. But, uh, so there is going to be a difficult time beyond this dispensation of the grace. And so the message that the Lord is bringing forth to you is that capture this moment. Let every living being capture this moment, Christian or not. If you're not a Christian, receive the Lord to make sure you capture this moment. I realize that now you cannot even be a Christian that lives oblivious of the requirements of the Lord. This is the moment to capture. The Lord is using this, but is speaking to me that I may announce to you but life on the other side of this corner, life on the other side of this earth after the rapture has happened is unbearable. So capture this moment. Receive Jesus. And if you have received Jesus, walk in holiness. Shun sexual sin and sexual lust. Turn away from lies. 
turn away from the gospel of this world, the gospel of prosperity and money, so a seed and get you a miracle. Turn away from the churches where there is deception and lies. Focus on the gospel of the cross and the blood of Jesus. The gospel of deliverance, the gospel that has power to change mere mortals, to transition you, to translate you into the eternal kingdom of God. The gospel of repentance, perpetual repentance and the turning away from sin. I have seen the other side after the church has been taken away and the ch I saw that the earth had been changed by that event irretrievably, irreversibly. The earth was never ever the same again. It's a reign of fear, a reign of terror by the Antichrist, it's a reign of dreadful, people are dread, you know, they, they cannot even watch news I saw. They not put me in Germany, that's why I let me work there, and many other countries too, but I'm using Germany as an example here now. And I saw that people were living in fear, and I saw the marks he had put on buildings. He put outside on the wall, he put the marks, and the Lord told me, look, that is his mark. And the mark was consistent with him that the Lord introduced me to. And the Lord made me meet him, talk to me about him. More than twice in one night. And that also tells you the time is over. He's already talking to me about the other side of the rapture after the church has been taken away. This is a stern warning to the nations across the earth. Embrace repentance, embrace prayer and fasting. Food is poison to your spirit. That's why you see in Kenya, I lead a massive fast, dry fast. I need them, even now as we speak, we are on a dry fast. I need a massive, I don't know how many millions are fasting, but they fast dry the way Jesus fasted, that you may cut off the flesh and exalt the spirit of the Lord in you. These are the ways in which you can help yourself as a Christian at this hour to capture the moment. I have seen the church taken away and I've seen the earth after the church has been taken. And the Lord has made me live there. There are some actions that have taken place there. I've been involved there. And I cannot share this here. But he that speaks with you has seen on the other side. He has lived on the other side. So that becomes a stern warning, a clarion call to the church. Repent. And prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah. Time is over. Don't worry about the events after the rapture. You have nothing to do with that. Because those are unbearable events. I have seen them. I can speak them to you. It's less than 24 hours away ago that the Lord came and spoke. The Lord God came and spoke to me about the events after the rapture. So what I'm giving you is hot bread directly from the throne of God in heaven. Do not wait for anything else. Begin embracing repentance, the fasting, and cutting off of the flesh and the sexual lust of the flesh, the lies of the flesh, the, the perversion of the flesh, and all the wickedness of the flesh. Focus on righteousness. There is a reward in fasting. There is a reward in repentance. There is a reward in observing righteousness as a Christian. The salvation of the cross that the Lord gave to the church is the salvation of holiness, of separateness, separation from this world. And that is what fasting will help you achieve. That you may be holier in your ways, holier in your Christianity, holier in your life. Because I have seen the other side after the church has been taken away. It is not nice. It is nasty. It's a reign of terror on the earth. I have seen the Messiah coming. This is he about whom it is written. I will send my messenger before you, ahead of you, before 
you are doing, before you are coming, prepare the way for the coming of the King, the Messiah, our Lord. Amen. Shalom. Oh,